Hey guys, Shukesh here once again. So, as promised, OnePlus has released a new update for the camera situation that is the poor HDR performance and some other camera issues the OnePlus 7 Pro is suffering from. OnePlus basically addresses all these issues and brings you this 182 megabyte update and the oxygen waste will be upgraded from 9.5.3 to 9.5.4. This is basically my second OT update after getting this device which brings some nice features like DC dimming, enhanced haptic feedback, fanatic mode and most importantly optimized camera quality but that wasn't enough. I did a side by side camera comparison versus iPhone XS Max and this new OnePlus flagship performed poorly on the HDR department as you can see in this sample. Check the description for this comparison link. Now in the zoom lens, OnePlus 7 Pro was faded and the wide angle lens was the worst in dynamic range. So after getting feedbacks from the users, OnePlus started working on this new update. So I really hope that this will fix the dynamic range issue and also Optical image stabilization was very poor in the 1080p 30fps mode. I hope that it's fixed as well. The nightscape mode was also nothing special, just average night photos. So let's download and install this new update. There are some system upgrades as well like optimized double tap to wake and ambient display. Well, it's working perfectly on my 7 Pro. I can double tap to wake up the display and get the lock screen and from the display settings, ambient display, there is this option tap the screen to enable ambient screen. But once you enable this, double tap to wake up the display disables automatically. Other system issues like audio delay with Bluetooth headset when playing games and other bugs are fixed. Well, about that, I have been using this phone since its launch and I am really enjoying the fast response and the amazing performance of this phone. But there are a couple of issues I am facing like uh, sometimes with my left finger, the finger scanner doesn't work and I have seen a couple of user feedbacks about this. That is the finger scanner I registered first works perfectly but when I added my left hand as well, as you can see it did not recognize the fingerprint. It happens at least in 5 or 6 attempts and also I have faced freezing issues on this phone. Sometimes the screen freezes, scrolling and home button stop working but that happened like 4 or 5 times in the last 7 days. So hopefully these bugs are fixed with this update as well. This update improves image quality in HDR scenarios in low light and also fixes white balance issue in several scenarios. And lastly, the autofocus issues the 7 Pro was suffering from. There is also a thank you note from OnePlus. Thanks to the overwhelming amount of positive and constructive feedback we received from the users of OnePlus 7 Pro's triple camera both from within the media and our own community, OnePlus is committed to building products for our users, we value your voice. So this is what I like about OnePlus, they listen to their users and gets you the much required updates. Now before I update the OS, I want to take some photos, keeping the iPhone as the reference, I will take the same photos after the update and compare the improvements in the camera department. As you can see in this sample, the flowers are overexposed, losing all the details and the white balance isn't accurate either. So this update is very crucial for this OnePlus 7 Pro success. Let's start the update and compare the before and after pictures. The download is complete, now it's installing. Guys, the update is complete successfully. Uh, the first thing I want to check is my left finger scanner speed. Maybe it's improved. I can't really tell right now. I will create a user experience review on this phone. So I will talk more about this on my next upload. Let's quickly check uh, if the ambient screen and the double tap to wake up feature work at the same time. Well, it does not, which would have been great. Let's quickly check the camera before I compare the samples. 
I want to also check if I can record videos with the wide angle lens which is still not possible. In fact OnePlus said it's not coming on the OnePlus 7 Pro at least in the near future. Now let me take the sample pictures keeping the iPhone as the reference. So this is the picture before update and there you get the picture after the update and definitely there is visible improvement in the dynamic range. The flowers are now more balanced, more detailed. Let me show you the iPhone sample as well and I think iPhone is still more detailed but they are much closer now. These pictures have been taken against the light source and the inside of the glass housing on the left picture is blown away whereas it's more clearly visible on the right. The background of the light source is also more visible on the right picture that is taken after the update but there is much more noise in this picture which is not a good news. I will show you some low light samples. Now on the left I have put the sample from the XS Max and the dynamic range of this phone's camera is remarkable. It's still better than the OnePlus 7 Pro after the update. Here on the left picture the shadows are crushed whereas on the right the picture is more flat with more details on the shadows but once again the noise is visible guys. Now here the right picture is I think slightly more saturated. You guys watching the sample you judge. Uh, remember to watch this video in 4K resolution. It's the wide angle camera sample and it's the 3x optical zoom lens. Another before after picture for you. They are almost identical. Now let's quickly check some low light images. These pictures are taken in the nightscape mode and I can tell you guys there is great improvement in the night photography. The right picture is not only brighter but also much more detailed. So great effort by OnePlus. Let me show you a few more samples. I think there is slightly more noise but definitely the images are improved in dynamic range. So thanks to OnePlus for this fast update though I am slightly concerned about the noise level. But still it's an improvement I will say especially in the low light photography. I will create a detailed camera review and compare the samples with the XS Max. So make sure you check the description below for the link. If you have found this video useful and informative don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching guys. This is Shukesh signing off.